Aquafina. And I'm a student here in Geneva, Switzerland, the home of the International Telecommunication Union. ITU is the United Nations agency that manages and promotes information and communication technologies, or ICTs in ordinary language. That means your mobile, tablet, or even just a plain old telephone. I've come to ITU this morning because today is Girls in ICT Day. That's the day when ITU staff show girls from local schools how interesting a career in technology can be. I want to see what it's all about and meet some of the participants to talk about their experiences. I found to talk about the day is Mr. Hu Lin Zhao. He's the Secretary General of the whole ITU. Mr. Zhao, why did ITU start Girls in ICT Day and what do you want to achieve? As you know, ITU is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for ICT development in the world. And our mandate is connect the people, connect the world. Yes. And uh, ICT will offer tremendous uh, potentials to help our girls to develop themselves in their career. And we also found that the girls have a lot of fantastic ideas to contribute to the ICT development in the world. Therefore, IT would like to organize this special day to invite everybody to come together to celebrate ICT and girls. We wish our girls a great day of this celebration. Thank you very much. Sanu, his unit leads the Girls in ICT Day each year. Mr. Sanu, this seems to be a very popular event. Why do you think so many girls get involved in Girls in ICT Day each year? This event is really inspiring. And we are gathering every year all the young girls to make sure that they make the difference in their life and the life of humanity through ICTs. We wanted the young girls and the women to become ICT creators in instead of being just ICT consumers. Thank you very much, Mr. Sanu. Great pleasure. Here at ITU today, you will get to see and experience ICT's first hand in practical workshops on coding, mobile applications, satellites, and uh, robotics. workshop, Hanan from ITU is teaching the girls how to program these very cool robots donated by Lego. Hanan, how hard is this and what can you get the robots to do? It was fantastic to see what the girls have achieved today. They are learning how to program uh, and they are experimenting with robots, programming, uh, with fun. And it was really fantastic. Can you give us a demo? Yeah, of course. Let's demonstrate this uh, first demonstration. Yeah. We put an object here, mm -hmm. and the robot should detect this object, object and stop near it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh wow. Wow. Thank you very much. Um, may I talk to some of your students? Of course. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Can you tell us a bit about what you've been doing this morning? So basically we've been programming and controlling the robot with um, this program by Lego. Thank you. And what about you? Um, well, they've also been showing us uh, different tactics and how the co we're in control of the robot, but also how the sensor yeah. makes them also reply to us. Thank you very much. I thought I'd check out another of the workshops. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to so far? Hi, so we are doing a workshop on data visualization. So we are from CERN, and at CERN we have huge amounts of data, and we have to visualize it, and we have these tracks of, part of particles that we generate billions of times a second. So what I'm showing them is how we can generate those tracks and uh, make uh, little dots or where they pass by and uh, connect the dots and uh, well we, we, we are letting girls uh, actually program and um, uh, see like the the bowels of the, the visualization engines how that works and it seems like they are having fun Is 
working with ICTs like what you expected? It's a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really boring and just all the numbers, but it's a lot more fun. And there's also this great speed mentoring activity where you get to hear from real life tech role models about what it's like to work in the ICT sector. time for the girls, but for the Geneva diplomatic community, it's time to hear a debate about some of the issues and about some of the success stories already out there. It seems to me that they'll be voting as a school subject in Finland in the future, in 2016, would seem to be a relatively wide uh, area, not only uh, um, technical skills as such. The debate has to happen between the generations. We've heard from several panelists that we need to encourage skill sets from early ages and to go back to the company question or the entrepreneurship question. Many, many educational systems don't embed entrepreneurship and leadership in their teaching. Technology innovation is changing our world. It's at the heart of many of the hard problems that we have to change in the next 50 years. Girl, we want girls at the table creating technology. I would encourage you to listen, to learn, to act, to do, to make things, and consider to participate in this really important field. Akirachix is a nonprofit based in Nairobi, Kenya, and our vision is to increase the number of women who use technology to create solutions. Uh, with that kind of definition, our members include any woman who is interested in using technology, and it does not limit to whatever career that she has chosen to have. I'm here with Gareth Boldsworth from LEGO Education. Gareth, LEGO sponsored the equipment for one of the workshops today. Why do you think Girls on ICT Day is important? Well, firstly, at LEGO Education, we believe that it's really important that we enable every student to succeed. And with this, we, we include girls as well. In my job, some of the most talented students we meet are girls. And if we can give lots of opportunities for girls, especially in ICT, then that will be a job well done for us. Thank you very much. It's been such fun spending the day surrounded by all this cool technology. Girls on ICT Day is a great way to spread the word about what a fantastic career you can have in ICTs.